Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, we are going to be going over a lot of huge things that happened with the recent update, or not update, well, technically, the PvP 2.0 update is coming very soon, and with it, the base, a global base stat total increase is coming, which basically means that a bunch of Lumians are going to get their stats increased, and like it's happening to every single Lumion in the entire game. The reasoning is because since we have an energy stat, rather than having um, like just no energy stat, our stats have to in LL have to be generally higher because if they're not higher, then we're just gonna have really bad stuff like Florant in the game, you know. And basically, Jamie Jamie went out on stream today and he started buffing pretty much everything up until the second gym. He did all the roamers. Um, and then he went on with all the other stuff and I'm going to be going over everything that he went through and right now I'm going to say this. I don't think I'm going to be putting a bunch of like timestamp. I, I'll have a timestamp on screen now if you just want to go see all of the buffs, but I'm going to be talking about them as well. So if you wanted to stay here to hear my words about it, you can, but if you want to just go see everything that was changed, you can go check that. But yeah, I've been keeping you guys here for long enough without further ado, let us get straight into it. All right, and heading straight into it, the first thing I want to go over is what exactly is the goal with the base stat totals. Basically, like, overall what's being changed. So, starters and Elephage are going from a 610 to a 625. Legendaries, like uh, Protagon, Duskit, Ika, those things, are going from 650 to 700. And Nova Deus is going from 700 to 750. And Soul Burst Legendaries, like Metrona and Dakota, are going from 700 to 750. Event Legendaries are going from 650 to 700 and... or not, not 700, 675. And Event Soul Burst Legendaries are going from 700 to 725. Oh, so I guess Metronet isn't um, gonna be 750. And then um, 500 base stat totals are trying to get up to 525. And every other final Evo is 575 minimum. And middle stages are around 500-ish. But yeah, I think I'm just going to get straight into it because it's a lot to go over. First off, we're going to be talking about Duskit. Now, the only real things that you really need to care about here are its range attack being increased to 132 and its range defense to 104, which I think those are the only real changes to Duskit. I'm pretty sure. I have this like little list I'm going down and it should be at the end of the video as well, but I just want to be sure because, <clears throat> oh man, there is a, a lot of freaking things. Let me just go make sure really quick. All right. Yeah, the list is right. So Duskit is getting up to 132 attack or range attack and 104 range defense. And then hopping into Ika, we have 72 health, 115 energy, 119 melee attack, 149 range attack, and 89 range defense. So that's what its stats would look like. And if I'm not mentioning any other stats, that means that they were unchanged. So Ika's speed is going to remain the same, unchanged. And now Protagon. Now here we have uh, 58 health, 118 energy, 82 melee attack, a 99 melee defense, uh, 121 range attack, and 101 range defense. So it's getting a slight uh, attack increase, a little bit of bulk as well, so that's fine. And then we have Mutagon. Oh, sheesh. Here we go. Energy, 133. Melee attack, 114. Melee defense, 119. Range attack, 98. And range defense, 68. Basically, Mutagon is 07, buddy. Goodbye. He did not get any buffs. And now we have Cephalops. 164 health, 116 energy, 69 melee defense, 129 range attack, and 74 range defense. Or 70, 69 melee defense. Hopefully I said melee defense. Oh man. Cephalops Sef just got a bulk increase and a health increase. And on top of that, it now got more range attack. Oh man. And now we have normal base Dakota. 99 health, 119 energy, 127 melee attack, uh, 
86 melee defense, 95 range attack, and 77 range defense. So giving it a little bit of offenses and some bulk and some energy. Solber's Dakota is now going to have 119 health, 119 energy, 95 melee attack, 96 melee defense, 156 range attack, and 87 range defense. Gee, so got a little bit of attack and then just some quality of life. Quality of life, I'll just say, is like bulk increase and just general increase. Our Saros guy, oh, rip, buddy. We have 96 health, 88 uh, range attack, and 97 range, or 79 range defense. Rip, did not get anything meaningful. I mean, hey, it can live. Hey, I mean, now Pyrelin's Fire Breath will 3 it KO it. So, looking good. Now, Glissadia, pretty much the same thing. 96 health, 88 melee attack, 69 melee defense, 102 range defense. So I think that Jamie's just trying to match up Glissadia and stuff. And then we have Nova Deus getting 96 health. So all the dragons have the same health. 96 health, 115 energy, 134 melee attack, 90 melee defense, 134 range attack, and 80 range defense. And I think... This is fine, and I know people were, I saw some people like, oh my god, it has like so much attack. It's like, eh, I'm not too stressed about it. Nova Deus is honestly not that broken. People over, over, overhype it. Now we have Metronet getting a little bit of energy up to 128 and 84 melee attack. Soul Burst Metronet getting uh, 118 energy and 119 melee attack. And Wobblisk, ooh, I didn't know about this one. Wobblisk actually losing some of its health, getting 96 health, 103 energy, 88 melee defense, and 98 range attack. So it actually loses out on a little bit of its bulk because of the health decrease. So a li little unfortunate there. Um, <clears throat> and then we have Nymeray. 76 health, 66 melee attack. Nothing really happened to Nymeray. Cosmior encased. Oh, actually, all the Cosmere forms are now at, uh, Cosmere E and Cosmere C are now at 68 melee attack. Cosmere Leash is now at a uh, 68 range attack. Nevermare getting 68 health, or 66 health, huh, and 66 range attack. Akalos getting 116 health, um, 97 melee defense, 73 range attack, and 91 range defense. Holy crap! Akalos actually got a buff, I think. Maybe. That's crazy. A is awesome, too. And now, all the Gargolem forms. This is a lot here. Um, Gargolem base. All the Gargolem forms are now at 105 energy. Uh, Gargolem base has 120 melee attack, 85 ra melee defense, 125 range attack, and 85 range defense. Gargolem attack has 165 offenses, which is its melee attack and range attack. Gargolem Defense is going to have 165 on its defenses. No! No! Oh, God. And then a Gargolem Speed is going to have 90 melee attack, 90 range attack, and then 165 speed. Oh, man. Have fun outspeeding Gargolem Speed. Holy crap. That's going to be very, very, very fast. going to be very hard to outspeed. Hmm. Even with the faster boots users, they're going to struggle. Now we have Celesting getting a little bit of a melee attack increase to 63. Melee defense getting increased up to 79. Range attack is now 108. I don't know what it was at before. Range defense is now 84. Adiyaga's health is now 93. Energy is 95. Melee attack is 103. Because it has a lot of melee attack, so it actually can use its melee side. And then... Finally, the final roaming here, Mimask. I think this is the final roaming. Mimask, 95 health and then uh, 65 melee and range defense. So just got a little bit of a bulk increase. But yeah, I'll leave all the changes up on screen now that I just talked about. Yeah, we have all of these roamers. And hopefully it's not too hard to read. This had to have been, this was screenshotted directly from Jamie's stream. So hopefully it's not too difficult to read. And hopefully you can read it. But yeah, the next thing we're going to be moving on to is going to be the starters. Now, the starters have to get a little bit of base stat increase, only a little bit. Uh, we have Seer Knight getting 89 health, 71 range attack, and 85 range defense. Luminami is getting its health to 105, melee attack to 94, 
Melee defense to 95, range attack to 98, range defense to 85. So it's still pretty bulky. Tata beginning its health to 75 and its range attack to 92, dipping more into its range side. Valkyrie getting its health. In, uh, health is now at 86. Melee attack is 87. Melee defense is 74. Rage defense is 90. Vesperatu getting a melee defense to 97. Range attack to 90. Himber getting 132 health and 72 range attack. Zulong getting 92 melee attack, 60 melee defense, 109 range attack, and 79 range defense. That's kind of crazy. That That is a little insane. Like, how much... It's, it's crazy how little... Like, this. sometimes sets are really, really optimized. And it is crazy how much one number could affect an entire set. I'm not kidding. It can affect a lot. But yeah, those are the starters. And we're going to go into these other roamers. I'll go ahead and leave the starters up on screen now. Again... I had to screenshot this from a screenshot, so hopefully it does not look atrocious. But yeah, I need to make sure I have like timestamps in my head. This is like 11-ish. Uh, let me like timestamp that so I know where to look to try to find this. 11, 20 starters. Okay. And now the next thing we're going to be talking about here is going to be um, like pseudos like Ferroglyph uh, and stuff like that, and then uh, Colostrops, like, stuff like that. The fossils and some pseudos. But here we have Ferroglyph getting 100 energy, 55 melee attack, and 55 melee defense. Okay. Colossotrops getting 70 range attack. Obsidragon getting 100 melee attack and 72 range attack. Tyrex getting 94 energy and 72 range attack. Lamala getting 60... Melee attack. C Drake getting 81 health, 89 energy, and 97 range attack. Dragodyne getting 73 melee attack. Cramboss getting 66 range attack. I'd say that these are interesting. Yeah, of course, they'll be on, up on screen if you want to look at them. Pretty interesting changes. Uh, I think it's, it's fine. There's just a lot to go over. We're about to get into, like, the long list. All right, like this is this is gonna be a while. All right, now here, this might be this is kind of hard to read. Not gonna lie, but hopefully it's enough for people to to see. But here we have Umbrat getting 84 energy, a uh, 106 melee attack, 90 melee defense, 61 range attack, and 88 range defense. Luxor getting 84 energy. 61 melee attack, 73 melee defense, 106 range attack, 75 range defense, and the first speed change, 101 speed on Luxor. Okay, so it's a bit quicker. That's nice. And now, we have alert, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like an entire Teclipse rework. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. Teclipse, 75 health, 84 energy, 106 melee attack, 90 melee defense, 106 range attack, 75 range defense, and 89 speed. I saw some people complaining about this Teclipse change. This is not that bad of a change. My reason behind this not being a horrible change it's because Teclipse has access to Power Focus, and it is also, since it's becoming a mixed attacker, is going to have access to more offensive and stronger moves. Like, I think Jamie said it was going to get Nova Blast, Gnarly Gash, Brawn Boost, Magnify. It could get all of that now, and it won't be incredibly oppressive because it had Bulk, which was kind of dumb, on something that has three immunities and, like, two weaknesses. Mm. And on top of that immunity, two of them gave it a speed boost. And think about this, 89 speed is plenty of speed to calc you giving plus one speed and get some nice out speeds. And on top of that, you would have a little bit of less range attack, but a lot more melee attack. So you could actually break through stuff like Venlin that wants to be annoying and try to check you. 
even though you could just scapegoat in front of Venelin and it doesn't really matter. I don't think this change is really bad. I think people are kind of overreacting. And it might also get something in the future called Gluminous Fangs, which is a Gluminous Roar but melee. So Teclipse is basically being opened up to an entirely new thought process on how to like play it. And I'm I'm entirely down for it. I don't think this change is that bad. And then we have Sinamoth actually getting another big rework. 70 health, 55 melee attack, 85 melee defense, 98 range attack, 99 range defense, and 88 speed. So it's actually coming bulky. Huh. I won't question Jamie Jamie's uh, wisdom, you know? Can't question that. And then we have Sumabito getting 72 health, 106 melee defense, 51 range attack, 101 range defense, and 55 speed. Then we have Avatross getting 85 energy, 78 melee defense, and 67 range attack. Did I say 78 melee defense? Hopefully I did. Swolder. Oh, let's go. Swolder. 85 energy, 120 melee attack, 105 melee defense, and 50 range attack. Okay. Not bad. And Florant getting 105 health. 88 energy, 55 melee attack, 105 range defense, 82 range attack, and 105 range defense. Oh my god. Florant stonks. Let's go. That is awesome. Finally, Florant actually has some, like, use instead of just having to be a soul burst, you know? And speaking of the soul burst, soul burst Florant. 105 health, 88 energy, 112 melee defense. 155 range attack and 112 range defense. So, Solbos Flanch just became bulkier. <laughs> what a W. Now, actually, that's something interesting I can kind of bring up is just because these things are getting these stat increases doesn't mean they're going to be any better than they were before because everything else, since everything's getting a stat increase, the game will actually kind of remain generally the same in terms of damage and stuff like that. It'll just be us having higher base stat totals. But yeah, now we have Terrafly, 75 health, 85 energy, 112 melee attack, 87 melee defense, 61 range attack, and 95 speed. Ooh, okay. 95 is an interesting speed tier. It feels like it'd be kind of clunky with a bunch of base 90s and stuff. But hey, kind of nice that Terrafly gets that buff. It's been needing it. <clears throat> And now we have Terra Claw getting 94 health, 87 energy, 116 melee defense, and 60 range attack. Okay, so this thing is gonna like, it's gonna be hard to get rid of because hit on its range side, it's gonna tank it. Hit on the melee side, it's gonna tank it. Oof. Oof. But yeah, now we're gonna have Ragoon. Ragoon, 95 health, 80 energy, 100 melee attack, 95 melee defense. 60 range attack, and 55 range defense. Borok, 102 HP, 81 energy, 95 melee defense, 49 range attack, and 70 range defense. Alaguana getting a very slight buff, 55 melee attack, and 90 range attack. Gas Stroke, okay, this is a little scary, 120 HP, 88 energy, 60 melee attack, 40 melee defense, 92 range attack, and 120 range defense. Okay, so it just got a big, it just got a buff. Soul Burst Gas Choke, however, just got 107 range attack. So thank goodness that thing's still at L. I'm still saying L. And then we have Wiki Wiki. Oof. Oh man, rip Wiki Wiki. 70 melee defense, 60 range attack, and 70 range defense. Eh, I don't know how much it's gonna help because it's freaking Wiki Wiki. And now we have Chartiki getting 108 health, 94 energy, 49 melee attack, and 112 range attack. Okay, 49 melee attack. Hopefully, I, I'm kind of forgetting what I'm saying, but it should be fine. Wakalaka getting 104 health, 73 energy, 49 melee attack, and 108 range defense. Then we have 92 energy, or Thaumin, sorry. 92 energy, 49 melee attack, 58 melee defense, and 72 range defense. So, Thalman didn't really get that much. Um, Shachi, getting 52 melee defense. Oh, man, 104 range attack and 74 range defense. A range attack buff on Shachi. 
Oh man, that is sheesh. I, I feel like that's gonna be really good in my opinion. Feels like that's gonna be good. Okay, so now I kind of lost track where I was. Set of Mars, 91 melee attack, 108 melee defense, 52 range attack, uh, 81 range defense. Okay, a little bit of a bulk increase. Ventation, getting 90 energy, 57 melee attack, 90 range attack, and 58 range defense. Okay. Yursel, 120 melee attack, 68 melee defense, 50 range attack, and 90 range defense. Sheesh. Okay. Your snack. Oh man. Give me the melee attack increase. Melee attack to 92. Wall breaker, your snack is real. I'm telling you. And then 115 melee defense and 50 range attack. Yeah, being very careful with your snack. That's really good. Revenine. Getting 65 health, 105 melee attack, 63 melee defense, and 67 range the Oh man, defense. <clears throat> Making it more of a mixed vengeance. That's kind of cool. Eruptodon, 94 melee attack, 74 melee defense, 105 range attack, and 89 range defense. Okay. Soul Burst Eruptodon, getting 104 melee attack and what is that? 94 range defense? Again, this is a very blurry image, and I'm praying it looks good in the editing. And then Krakaloa. Okay, here we go. Krakaloa, 95 health, uh, 48 melee attack, 95 melee defense, 91 range attack, and 99 range defense. Okay. Interesting. Solvers Krakaloa, uh, getting 53 melee attack, 105 melee defense, 126 range attack, and 109 range defense. So it's just getting a big bulk increase. Nice. And plus it's going to get... Oh, Solver's Crack Loa is going to be eaten. Good. Holy crap. Now we have Volcaloa getting 90 energy, 110 melee attack, and 54 range attack. Festifer getting 118 health, 101 energy, 71 melee defense, 46 range attack, and 98 range defense. And then for the last one, we have Lashent, 104 health, 86 energy, 93 melee defense, 46 range attack, and 79 range defense. Oh, man. Those are some crazy changes. And hello, everyone that skipped over. I'm going to go ahead and leave this up on the screen right now for everyone to see. So it's like, what, 20, 22, 45, 45, uh, skip, yeah. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this. Jamie will definitely have his own cleaner version of this. I just wanted to kind of quickly go over it and let everyone know, like, this is happening and it's going to be absolutely insane. And I am very excited to see all that work out. And yeah, I think the one I might, I, I'm kind of hyped for... Which one did I really, really like? I really liked one of them. It was Teclipses. I like Teclipses. I know there were some people that were kind of mad about Teclipses. I think it's kind of cool. That one I'm kind of hyped for. And Shachi is amazing getting 104. That's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, honestly, like all of this seems great. And I'm very excited. There's going to be way more that's going to happen next weekend. Jamie's going to do something like this again. So we're going to have more information on more stat totals very soon. But yeah, with all that being said, hopefully you all enjoyed. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye-bye.